right here in the county I live in, we saw protesters marching peacefully get pepper sprayed. But then in Texas, we see Trump trucks hemming up Joe Biden's campaign bus. What's the hypocrisy with this? They call the police on the Trump folks. Nobody gets shot. Nobody gets pepper sprayed. But these people who are peacefully marching to go vote get pepper sprayed. And it's a damn hypocrisy. I don't understand it. And when we put this in your face and you still have these idiots that want to challenge that, it makes me mad. Take a look at what just happened over this weekend. Just pure tea crazy. Officials was assaulted. Officials was assaulted. And at that point, that's when we deemed that it was an un unsafe event. And use military tactics against elderly people, against young children. Two very different accounts from North Carolina police and activists about a voter's march that ended with people pepper sprayed and arrested in Alamance County. After the events that unfolded Saturday, organizers are planning a new march on Election Day. The incident ended with demonstrators being pepper sprayed and arrested in downtown Graham. CBS 17's Imani Payne joins us live. And Imani, we are definitely getting two very different stories about what happened here. In a press conference today, community members condemn the actions of police while police say an accurate picture of what happened is not being shared. Now, police do say that they did use pepper spray to try to break up the crowd. Some attendees say that smoke impacted the elderly, journalists, and even children. It all happened during a voting rally Saturday that was supposed to lead to a march to the polls, but some attendees who were planning to vote say that wasn't possible because of that tense situation. The organizer says what happened is unacceptable. Police say they issued warnings to the crowd to move out of the road because they were blocking traffic for other traffic for others trying to reach the polls and say they released the pepper spray and started making arrests only after the crowd refused to move. We want to say as an agency we respect and promote citizens ability to exercise their constitutional <clears throat> excuse me rights and will do anything in our power to ensure those rights are maintained. Use military tactics against elderly people, against young children on yesterday. That eventually resulted in folks not getting to those bones. What did we do? So wrong. Eight demonstrators were arrested during the event. The rally organizer says to expect hundreds at the election day march, saying the voice of the people will not be. The first thing I've ever seen, man. They're like chasing them. Uh, this is a new brothels right now. <laughs> and they're like, they, they, they got, look at this. They're like literally escorting them out of town on the Trump flag. <laughs> oh my God, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> They're, they're like hundreds of them. They're escorting them out. Look at this, they're in front with a truck train. And it was on Interstate Highway in Texas. And a bunch of Trump trucks, pickup trucks with Trump flags, tried to run it off the road. They're stopping it, dropping in front of it. And, uh, and the president saw it, took the video that, was, that someone had taken, and treated it back out and said, I love Texas. I love Texas. We've never had anything like this. At least we've never had a president who thinks it's a good thing. You see the way our people, they, you know, they were protecting his bus yesterday because they're nice. So his bus, they had hundreds of cars, Trump, Trump, Trump and the American flag. That's it. You see Trump and American flag. Do you ever notice when you see the other side? I don't even see much of the other side. You don't see any, they have no spirit, they have no enthusiasm, they have no nothing. Where do I even begin with this? First, first of all, the hypocrisy, hypocrisy on this one is blazing. The first lie that Alamance County said was they didn't have a permit. Then our state attorney general got involved, they had a permit. So then the next lie was they ordered them to get out the road. They had a permit to be in that road. So because they got an order and they didn't comply, but they had the permit, they start pepper spraying them. Then we flip to Trump's people hemming up the Biden bus. Okay. Before, they before had, you move on to the bus, yeah. point, it needs to be pointed out, too, that not only did they have a permit, 
and they said they were in the road. They were they had a police escort that oh, yeah, escorted with them. them in the road with them, right? With them, they were with escorted them. in the road. The police that were with them for this protest said, "This is the route. Follow us. This is how you are going to go." So they followed the police, and then the police turned around and attacked them. But then the police is called to Trump's people hemming up the Biden bus, stopping in front of them, running them to the side of the road. Nobody's arrested. Nobody gets picked up. Then the FBI is getting involved. And the only time the FBI get involved is when there's life and death situations put on display. And that's exactly what we had. The hypocrisy of this, Larry. These peaceful people get sprayed. But these people in cars without a permit, hemming up the motorcade to the presidential nominee for the Democratic Party, and they don't even get an arrest? What the hell is this about, Larry? The floor is yours, man, because this just this is exactly what we're talking about, people. Nobody can defend that. You can sit up here and pull every excuse out your ass that you want to pull. You can pull every tool out your butt that you want to pull, but you can't excuse the behavior. Now, had someone gotten shot by the police, I wonder would Anglo-Saxons be feeling the way we feel about these protesters getting pepper sprayed. What you think, Larry? Yeah, it's just, it's saddening. It, it's, it's, it's disgusting when I see that, when I saw that on, on the highway. I mean, this is, this is a country that should be, I mean, for, for, for a very long time, we were held up in the world as the, the gold standard of democracies, the way that democracies should function, that we have had peaceful elections, that we've had peaceful transition of transitions of power. And now we are seeing just what looks like the just like the total destruction of our of our democratic system. And I, I mean, it, it really I'm it scares me to think what is going to happen in this country on November 4th or whenever shortly thereafter, when they determine who wins either way, because I think that if Joe Biden wins, then all these Trump people are just going to lose their ever love in mind. They're going to sit up there and try and say that it was rigged, that it was all false and everything else. If, you know, if, if Trump wins, you're going to see these people and Trump, completely unrestrained and it's going to be a very dangerous country to live in it's just i yeah i i don't know man i i don't know i just i People. i've 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 been talking to my wife for for a while about saying we should leave we we are lucky that we have the financial means to leave and i and i keep saying we should but she doesn't want to. I understand that. And, you know, but it, 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 it deeply worries me because I see the way things are going with these people. They are fanatical. This is this is not something where it's just people upset about a political party. These are people who have they're not they're not Republicans. They may they may be registered as Republicans, but they're not Republicans. These people belong to Donald Trump. These people are Donald Trump fanatics. Because you didn't see people doing that with, with George W. Bush. But that's because, doing that's, that because George, that's because George W. Bush didn't behave the way Trump has allowed them to behave. This has always been in these people, Larry. They just needed a leader to come out and make it okay for them to behave like that. And that's what he's done. Yeah. It, so it's, it's, it, it saddens me deeply because I, I really would like to believe that our country is better than that. I know that it's not. I'm a black man in this country. I'm a 50-year-old black man in America. I've seen some really, really heinous things happen in this country to not just black people, but to women, to gay people, to, you know, to Hispanics, to Asians. I've seen stuff happen to all types of groups inflicted on them by white people. So as much as I would like to believe this country is better than that, I, I know that it's not. I know at the I know that this country, even though it has all of its lofty ideals, 
I know at the con I know at the core there's a lot of rot at the core. The country's not rotten as a whole, but mm -hmm. there is a lot of rot at the core of this country that needs to be scraped away. Mm -hmm. And I think that's part of the reason why these people are fighting back so much because in a lot of ways their ideas are the rot and they are getting scraped away and and people like like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and an AOC and the whole squad, all of them, they are all people. They are all, they are all political doctors with scalpels cutting away the rot of this country and, and allowing this country to heal and to become better and become its true sense of what it is and what it should be to live up to the American dream and the American ideals that were put forth. And these people, the, the, People call them progressives. Some people call them communists. Some people call them socialists. Some people call them Democrats, whatever you want to call them. They are basically political surgeons cutting away at the rot of this nation. Hmm. And the other people, the people on the left, the on the on the right, excuse me, all those Trump people that are out there, they are fighting back because they know that what's being a cut away is them. They're they're evil ideas. How I mean, you know that a, you know that a party is wrong and anti-American when they spend so much money, so much time, have filed so many lawsuits to prevent people from voting. You should inspire everyone to ex to, to exercise their constitutional rights. That should not be something you try and prevent people from doing, even if they're not going to vote for you. Right. I mean, the reality is we've been encouraging people on this show to vote every single show for the last several months. Sometimes I jokingly say vote for Biden because I want you to vote for Biden. But I just say vote, go out and vote, you know, and I probably have inspired a number of Trump voters to go vote. I mean, <laughs> just the mere fact that we are intelligent black men inspires Trump voters to go vote. Because that you know nothing scares them more than educated minorities and educated women. Nothing scares them more than that. 